Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Simplify your scheduling and calendar management in 2023 by connecting Zapier to Calendly. This comprehensive tutorial will guide you through the integration process of Zapier to Calendly in 2023, making appointment scheduling a breeze. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. Of course guys, the first thing to do, which is head it up to Zapier. Go to the URL section, search for Zapier and click on the first link. And now we are on the dashboard. Here we have to make sure that the dashboard is working and we need to make sure that we have at least a trial with zero tasks and unlimited apps. Then go to the sidebar menu, click on apps and wait until it loads and here search for Calendly. So here we go and there it is. Click on connect button and this window will open for us. Wait for it until it loads and then you will be taken to a login page so you can log in into your Calendly account. I will log in using my Google account, choose my email, and there I will be on my account successfully. Now, give them the permission to actually have the access to your calendar. And then, now account has existed, as you can see, um, I went through the login. Since I have to go through another account, I have to go through the sign up. So that's the same thing, very easy, in the log. And there I am. It is very easy, so you can connect it. Now just wait until it loads. It will take you to the Calendly app section. Accept all the cookies. Here you will be able to give them everything, set up later. Just ignore everything from this. Set up later. And set up later. Then here, choose whatever and finish. And there we go. So our account has been created successfully. And now we can go to the authorized uh, process. Now just wait for it until it loads. As you can see, this is the process that takes that much of time. So connect to Calendly as you can see. So continuing with enable the Calendly for Zapier. Application to connect to your account and manage your Calendly events. Connect to Calendly. This is what we want exactly. And there we go. So our account has been connected successfully. And just like that, we have integrated Zapier into Calendly. Now, to make sure that our integration has been well working, make sure to test the connection by clicking on these three points and testing the connection. There we have it, the test has been done successfully. Now, we have done this process without any problems. Now we are, are like literally done with the integration process, but I will show you what you can do exactly and how you can work with this integration. By going to create Zap by clicking on this button, which is also on the sidebar menu, you will be taken to a page where you can type a prompt. A prompt is basically a text where you're going to describe what you want and an AI generator will be making it as an automation. So Zapier is a third part parts uh, app that makes automation between different apps. For example, when X happens, do Y, then do Z. This is the same thing that we are going to amplify in this video. For example, when a new event is created in Calendly, send me a notification three days before it arrives. Then click on generate and normally this will help you to get notified before each event that you have in Calendly uh, before like three days. So this is how it works. Um, I want it to be in Gmail so in Gmail try again and there we go just give it some time and it will be done in few seconds just as you can see right now so this is what it's going to do notify me upcoming calendar event in gmail and so guys 
what we're going to do is to simply here click on try it. So we can try this simple trigger that we have gotten from Zapier AI. Now, the first thing is we have to connect these both apps to the correct account. Click on the first one and then click on choose account and choose the account that you have logged in in the beginning of the video with. Then continue, click on continue and then you can take this trigger if you want but it, it doesn't really have to be correctly done because for example for me I have just created an account so I don't have any event on my calendar account but here as you can see it has to be a trigger uh, having events recently created anything that has been going on your account recently will be tested here so since I have a new account there will be new no test to be triggered so I will just skip the test and just as you can see it has been proven that it has been done successfully now scroll down the page and you'll find continue you'll be taken to your second app which is in our case Gmail make sure to choose your account as well then continue choose the action so what we have said is we need them to send us an email to our Gmail account once like um, an event has arrived three days before so here it's going to be sent to whom of course to us so here just put your email address here the cc uh, the text and basically the next thing to do is continue and then if you want to do the test you can do it if not you can simply just skip it and then publish it as you can see by clicking on this button and then it will be published now the last thing to do is to make sure it is turned on and this is published it is not edited as draft and as another uh, thing to know is you have to check your tasks if your task has arrived to their limit you will not be able to get any automation from the zap that you have just created and if you had limited zaps that also can cause you to not have as many as tasks or as zaps as you want so what you can do is turn off and turn on zaps depending on what automation you want it to be running at that specific moment and yeah just like that we have arrived to an ending for our video so as you can see guys it was very easy it didn't even take that much of time um you just have to go to your zapier make sure that you own an email for example uh, an account first of all on your calendly and then make sure to whatever other app you wanted to be related or integrated uh, with Calendly using Zapier to have an account on it as well and then the last thing is to simply head up to the create a zap and write whatever you have in mind literally whatever you have in mind it should make you uh, that automation happen you can even for example when an event is happening on uh, Calendly create an account on Facebook and you can connect to Facebook with that uh, event it's, it is very very easy guys and a very, very useful tool to use so thank you guys a lot for watching i hope you learned something from this video and see you guys in the next tutorial